So there's a truck driver that ran out of hours. And so he stopped at a truck stop so that he could get his hours back. So the question of the day is, even if you're out of hours, would you keep on driving to get out of Hurricane Milton? Let's get into today's video. What's going on, my truckers? Uh, welcome to my truck news. Email us on my truck news at gmail.com. This is a really great question of the day because, you know, we all know Hurricane Milton is coming. And uh, basically, uh, it's very hard to get fuel right now. And so this truck driver writes this post and says, Pilot in Haines City, Florida still has gas and fuel for now, but it's been backed up for hours. They will probably run out at some point. Still have parking too for any drivers needing a break to get hours back like I did. So, you know, the comments have been going crazy on this post. Uh, of course, this truck driver is trying to be kind to let people know that there's still fuel while people are trying to evacuate. But this is what people are saying. Hours back, storm coming in, I'm riding hours or not. Who gives an F about logbooks right now? Seriously. You have plenty of hours, go. Live update, uh, Milton regains Category 5 strength as it plows toward Tampa. The storm's winds climb back to 165 miles per hour after weakening slightly for several hours. Gas pumps across Florida ran low as fleeing residents jammed highways. Uh, Governor Ron DeSantis did make a state emergency for people to evacuate. So all I have to say, Mother Trekkers, is, hey, I don't care if you... If you have to personal convenience out of that, but if you are on a load or not, if you do not feel safe, you need to go. And I'm telling you right now, you need to go. My truckers comment down below. What are your thoughts about this? Tell me if I'm giving bad advice. But wherever it makes landfall, there's going to be impacts far beyond uh, what the cone actually shows. Now, we have made, as I mentioned yesterday, pre-landfall declaration requests from FEMA. Federal government has approved a portion of our request. There are going to be um, landfall requests for a major disaster declaration and individual assistance, and we anticipate those being approved as well. We have 51 counties currently under a state of emergency. As of the 5 a.m. advisory, Hurricane Milton is still a major hurricane. Uh, it is no longer a Category 5, but it potentially could strengthen back to that as it makes its approach to the state of Florida. Maximum sustained winds are in excess of 150 miles an hour. Now their forecasts do call for it to weaken before it gets to landfall, and, and, and maybe that's true. Let's hope it's true. Maybe it's not, but even if it does weaken, you're still looking at, at a major hurricane. It is gonna have really, really significant impacts. Right now it's located about 560 miles southwest of Tampa. Storm surge warning has been issued for the Florida Gulf Coast from mainland Monroe County northward to the Dixie Levy County line with storm surge watches in effect for Nassau County to Brevard Indian River County line, including the St. John's River. 10 to 15 feet uh, peak storm surge is forecast for the Pasco Pinellas County line uh, all the way down. Uh, into the area where you have uh, Manatee and, and Sarasota. Five to ten peak storm surges forecast from Yankee Town southward uh, and then from Englewood southward to Benita Beach, including Charlotte Harbor. So that almost entire west coast of the Florida Peninsula has the potential to have really, really significant storm surge. And when you're talking about 10 to 15 feet, that's obviously major, but we saw what even four feet did with Hurricane Helene in, in some of these communities. And so, so this is something that's really, really significant. There's hurricane warning in effect for Levy, Marion, Citrus, Sumter, Lake, Seminole, Hernando, Orange, Pasco, Pinellas, Hillsborough, Polk, Osceola, Manatee, Hardy, Highland, Sarasota, DeSoto, Charlotte, and Lee counties. And then tropical storm warning in coastal Franklin, coastal Wakulla, Coastal Jefferson, Taylor, Sewanee, Lafayette, Dixie, Gilcrest, Western Columbia, Western Alachua, Okeechobee, Glades, Hendry, Collier, Monroe, including the Florida Keys and the Dry Tortugas. Uh, we have a hurricane watch for Nassau, Duval, Clay, St. John's, Putnam, Flagler, Volusia, Brevard, Indian River, Okeechobee, Glades, Hendry, Collier, Dry Tortugas, and then a tropical storm watch 
Inland Jefferson, Madison, Hamilton, Eastern Columbia, Baker, Union, Bradford, Eastern Alachua, St. Lucie, Martin, Palm Beach, Broward, and Miami-Dade. So basically, the entire peninsula portion of Florida is, uh, is under some type of either a watch or a warning. The Florida Division of Emergency Management is actively addressing storm-related resource requests. We are currently fulfilling close to 1,000 missions to support our local communities. That includes everything from tiger dams and generators to staff support, as well as food and water and tarps. We've also deployed more than 11,000 feet of flood protection systems and prior, we're prioritizing critical infrastructure like hospitals, wastewater treatment facilities, and electrical infrastructure. We've also done things like generators to support special needs sheltering operations. Of course, Starlink Internet, all counties have access to Starlink Internet devices and can use those as they see fit. More than 350 ambulances and more than 30 paratransits are in operation. We also have another 144 in staging that can be used if the need arises. The state of Florida is amassing fuel reserves ahead of Milton and staging it to be utilized as needed. We have been dispatching fuel over the past 24 hours as gas stations have run out. Uh, so we currently have 268,000 gallons of diesel, 110,000 gallons of gasoline. Those numbers are less than what they were 24 hours ago because we've put a lot in. But we have an additional 1.2 million gallons of both diesel and gasoline that is currently en route to the state of Florida. Now, there is no fuel shortage. Uh, fuel continues to arrive in the state of Florida uh, by port and uh, what we're doing to bring it in on the ground. But lines at gas stations have been long. Gas stations are running out quicker than they otherwise would. And so that is causing the state of Florida to help assist with the mission to be able to get fuel to the gas stations so that Floridians have access. So last night, 27 fuel trucks were escorted by the Florida Highway Patrol to deliver fuel to stations in the anticipated impact area. We're also working with fuel companies such as Racetrack, Wawa, Shell, and Walmart to ensure fuel trucks are working 24-7 to keep fuel delivered as it comes into our ports. Now, uh, Port of Tampa, for example, our Gulf Coast ports uh, are not going to be receiving uh, ships at this point uh, per the Coast Guard. Uh, they do have a lot of fuel that's on hand, and the dockside operations will be...